my dear countrymen namaskar we are connecting once again today for man ki baat two days later the month of december is commencing and with the onset of december we psychologically feel oh the year has concluded this is the last month of the year and one starts sketching out plans for the new year this month itself the country also celebrates navy day and armed forces flag day all of us know that on the 16th of december the country is also celebrating the golden jubilee of the 1971 war on all these occasions i remember the country's armed forces i remember our brave hearts and especially i remember the brave mothers who give birth to such brave hearts as always this time too i've received numerous suggestions from all of you on the namo app and my gof considering me to be part of your family you've also shared your lives joys and sorrows in that there are many young people students as well i really feel good for the fact that this monkey bath family of ours is continually growing connecting with hearts and connecting through goals too and our ever deepening bonds are creating a surge of a flow of constant positivity within us my dear countryman ojasvi from sitapur has written to me that he enjoys discussions touching upon the amrit mahotsav a lot he listens to monkey bath with his friends and is continuously trying to know and learn more about the freedom struggle friends the amrit mahotsav along with learning also inspires us to do something for the country and now throughout the country whether it's common folk or governments from panchayats to parliament the resonance of the amrit mahotsav is palpable programs in connection with the mahotsav are going on successively one such interesting program was held in delhi recently in the program azadi ki kahani bachcho ki zubani children narrated stories connected with the freedom struggle from the core of their hearts the special element in that was along with india students from nepal mauritius tanzania new zealand and fiji too participated in that activity our country's maharatna ongc2 is celebrating the amrit mahotsav in a slightly different manner these days ONGC is organizing study tours to oil fields for our students in these tours youth are being imparted knowledge on ONGC's oil field operations with the objective that our budding engineers be able to contribute their bit to nation building efforts with full zest and fervor friends keeping in view the contribution of our tribal communities in attaining freedom The country has also celebrated the Janajati Gaurav Saptah across different regions of the country programs related to that were held in the Andaman Nicobar archipelago people from tribal communities such as Jarawa and Onge vibrantly displayed their culture miniature writer Ram Kumar Joshi ji from Una Himachal Pradesh too has done some remarkable work on tiny postage stamps he has drawn outstanding sketches of netaji subhash chandra bose and former prime minister lal bahadur shastri on the word ram written in hindi a brief biography of both the great men has been inscribed some friends from katni madhya pradesh have conveyed information on a memorable dastan goi storytelling program in that Memories of the indomitable courage and sacrifice of Rani Durgavati have been rekindled. One such program took place in Kashi. A three-day festival was organized in honor of illustrious luminaries such as Goswami Tulsidas, Sant Kabir, Sant Ravidas, Bharatendu Harish Chandra, Munshi Premchand, and Jay Shankar Prasad. In different periods. all of them played a major role in fostering public awakening in the country you might be aware in the last episodes of monkey bath 
I'd referred to three competitions. One was on writing patriotic songs. One on drawing rangolis on events connected with patriotic fervor and the freedom movement, and one on scripting lullabies that nurture dreams of a grand India in the minds of our children. I hope that you certainly must have sent in your entries too for these competitions. You must have made plans as well. You must have discussed it among friends too. I hope you will promote this program in every corner of India with wholehearted enthusiasm. My dear countrymen, in this discussion, I now straight away take you to Vrindavan. It is said about Vrindavan that it is a tangible manifestation of God's love. Our saints too have remarked, Yah asa dhari chitta me, yah asa dhari chitta me, kahata jatha mati mor, vrindavan sukha rang kau, vrindavan sukha rang kau, kahu na paayo aur. Meaning, we all refer to the glory of vrindavan according to our own capabilities. But the inner joy of vrindavan, its inherent spirit, nobody can attain it in its entirety. It is infinite. That is exactly why Vrindavan has been attracting people from all over the world. You will find its mark in every corner of the world. There is a city in Western Australia, Perth. Cricket lovers must be well acquainted with the place since cricket matches are often held there. In Perth, there is an art gallery called Sacred India Gallery. This gallery has been set up in the beautiful region of Swan Valley and it is the result of the efforts of a resident of Australia, Jagatarini Dasiji. Jagatarini ji is actually an Australian, born and brought up there, but she came to Vrindavan and spent more than 13 years here. She says that though she returned to Australia, came back to her own country, but she could never forget Vrindavan. That's why, in order to stay spiritually connected with Vrindavan, she created Vrindavan in Australia itself. Making her art a medium, she set up a marvellous Vrindavan. People who come here get an opportunity to view myriad artefacts. They get to see glimpses of the most famous pilgrimage centres of India, the traditions and culture of Vrindavan, Navadweep and Jagannathpuri. Here, many an artwork related to the life of Bhagwan Shri Krishna has been exhibited. There is an artifact as well that displays the Govardhan Parvat held aloft by Bhagwan Shri Krishna on his little finger with people of Vrindavan taking refuge beneath. Indeed, this matchless endeavour on part of Jagatarini ji brings to the fore the power of Krishna Bhakti. I extend my best wishes on this effort of hers. My dear countrymen, I was just referring to the subject of Vrindavan, built at Perth, Australia. There's an interesting history as well, in that Australia shares a bond with our Jhansi, Bundelkhand. Actually, when the Queen of Jhansi, Lakshmibai, was fighting a legal battle against the East India Company, her lawyer was John Lang. John Lang was originally a resident of Australia. Staying in India, he fought Rani Lakshmibai's case. All of us know of the huge contribution of Jhansi and Bundelkhand in our fight for freedom. Viranganas, brave hearts such as Rani Lakshmibai and Jalkari Bai hailed from here. This region has given to the country legendary sports persons like Major Dhyan Chand too. Friends, it is not necessary that bravery should be displayed only on the battlefield. When bravery becomes a vow and it expands, then many feats start getting accomplished in every field. Mrs. Jyotsna has written a letter to me about such very valour. There was a traditional river in Jalon, Noon River. Noon used to be the main source of water for the farmers here. But gradually, 
the noon river reached the verge of extinction. The little existence that was left of this river, in that it was turning into a drain. Due to this, problems in irrigation had also arisen for the farmers. The people of Jalon took the initiative to change this situation. This very year in March, a committee was formed for this. Thousands of villagers and local people spontaneously volunteered to join the campaign. The panchayats here started working together with the villagers and today, in such a short time and at a very low cost, the river has come back to life again. So many farmers are benefiting from this. Apart from the battlefield, this example of bravery shows the determination of our countrymen and it also tells that if we take a resolve, nothing is impossible. And that is why I say, Sapka Prayas, everyone's effort. My dear countrymen, when we conserve nature, in return, nature also gives us protection and security. We experience this in our personal life as well. And one such example has been presented by the people of Tamil Nadu on a large scale. This is the example of Tutukudi district of Tamil Nadu. We know that coastal areas are many a time prone to land submersion. There were many such small islands and islets in Tutukudi too, which were increasingly in danger of submerging in the sea. The people here and the experts found the mitigation from this natural disaster through nature itself. These people are now planting palmyra trees on these islands. These trees stand firm even in cyclones and storms and give protection to the soil. Through this now, a new confidence has arisen in saving this area. Friends, nature poses a threat to us only when we disturb her balance or destroy her sanctity. Nature nurtures us like a mother and fills our world with vivid colours too. I've been watching on social media the picture of a flying boat in Meghale that is becoming viral. The picture catches our attention at the very first sight itself. Most of you must have certainly seen it online. When we look closely at this boat floating in the air, we come to know that it is moving on the river water. The water of the river is so clear that we can see its bed and the boat seems to be floating in the air. There are many states in our country. There are many areas where people have preserved the colours of their natural heritage. These people have kept the lifestyle of living in harmony with nature alive even today. This is an inspiration to all of us too. Whatever natural resources are around us, we should save them, bring them back to their actual form. In this lie the interests of all of us, interests of the world. My dear countrymen, when the government makes plans, spends the budget, completes the projects on time, people feel that it is working. But in the many works of the government, amidst the many schemes of development, things related to human sensitivities always give a different kind of joy. With the effort of the government, with the schemes of the government, the way a life changed, what is the experience of that changed life? When we hear this, we too are filled with empathy. It also gives satisfaction to the mind and gives inspiration to to take that scheme to the people. In a way, it is just Swantaha Sukhaya, joy to one's own soul. And that is why, today, in Mankibad, two such friends are also joining us who have won a new life through their zeal. They got their treatment done with the help of Aishman Bharat scheme and have started a new life. Our first friend is Rajesh Kumar Prajapati who had an ailment of the heart, heart disease. So, let's talk to Rajesh ji. Rajesh ji, Namaste. Namaste sir, Namaste. What was your disease Rajesh ji? You must have gone to some doctor. Just explain to me what the local doctor must have said. You must have also gone to some other doctor. Then you would not have been able to take the decision 
or would have taken what all used to happen sir ji the problem was with my heart sir i used to have a burning sensation in the chest sir then i showed it to the doctor the doctor at first said son maybe you have acid so i got treatment for acid quite some time when i did not benefit from it then showed it to dr kapoor then he said son the symptoms you have will become clear by angiography then he referred me to shri ram murthy then we met amresh agarwal ji so he did my angiography then he said son there is blockage in your vein so i said sir how much will it cost then he said that there is a card of ayushman which pmg made then i said sir i have it with me then he took that card of mine and all my treatment has been done with that card sir and this card that you have made in a very good way and for us poor people is very convenient and how can i thank you what do you do rajesh ji sir presently i'm doing a private job sir and how old are you i am 49 years old sir you got heart trouble at such a young age yes sir what to say now uh, in your family earlier did your father or mother have such a thing no sir nobody had sir this has happened uh, first with me only this ayushman card government of india gives this card this is a big scheme for the poor so how did you come to know of it sir this is such a big scheme poor people get a lot of benefit from it and are so happy sir i have seen in the hospital how many facilities people get from this card and when they tell the doctor that they have the card sir the doctor then says okay bring that card and i'll treat you with the same card okay if you did not have the card how much expenses the doctor had told you the doctor had said that son it will cost a lot if the card is not there so i said sir i have the card so he asked me to show it immediately so i showed it immediately all my treatment was done with the same card not a single penny of mine was spent all the medicines have also been issued through the same card so rajesh ji you are satisfied now your health is fine sir thank you very much sir may you live so long that you always remain in power and our family members are also happy with you what to say rajesh ji don't wish me for being in power i am not in power even today and i don't want to be in power in future also i only want to be in service for me this post this prime ministership all these things are not at all for power brother they are for service service is what we need what else see this ayushman bharat scheme for the poor in itself yes sir it is a very nice thing but see rajesh ji you do one thing for us will you yes absolutely sir see what happens people do not know about it you should take on a duty find out how many poor families are around you and how you benefited from it how did you get help do tell them uh, well absolutely tell sir and do tell them that they should also get such a card made because the family does not know when a problem may come and it is not right that the poor remain bothered on account of medicines today now because of money they do not take medicines or do not seek the remedy of the disease then it is also a matter of great concern and what happens to the poor as you have had this heart problem for many months you would not have been able to work i could not walk 10 steps i could not climb stairs sir so rajesh ji by becoming a good friend of mine you can explain this ayushman bharat scheme to as many poor people as you can by the way you can help the sick people see you will also be satisfied and i will be very happy that come on rajesh ji's health not only became fine but rajesh ji got the health of hundreds of people better this ayushman bharat scheme it is for the poor it is for the middle class it is for the common families so this information must be conveyed to every house by you will definitely convey sir i stayed there for 3 days in the hospital sir so many poor people came to the hospital and told them about all the facilities if there is a card it will be done for free all right rajesh ji keep yourself healthy worry a little about your body take care of the children and wish you a lot of progress i wish you all the best friends we listen to rajesh ji now sukhdevi ji is joining us a knee problem had bothered her a lot let us first listen from sukhdevi ji about her plight and then how sakar came to her let us understand sukhdevi ji namaste where are you speaking from from danadwada 
Where does this lie? Uh, in Mathura. In Mathura. Then Sukhdevi ji, one has to say Namaste and say Radhe Radhe as well. <laughs> yes, Radhe Radhe. Well, I heard that you were suffering. Have you had any operation? Uh, can you tell what is the matter? Uh, yes, my knee was damaged, so I've had an operation in Prayag Hospital. How old are you, Sukhdevi ji? My age is uh, forty years. Forty years, and named Sukhdevi. And Sukhdevi got sick. Uh, I got sick when I was about fifteen, sixteen years old. Oh God, your knees got affected at such a young age. Um, what is that called? Arthritis, gout, pain in the joints. The knee got worse due to that. So, from the age of sixteen to forty, you did not get treatment for this. No, it was treated. Small time doctors who kept on giving medicine for pain. This is that desi medicine. This is that medicine. Quacks. I was able to walk with them, but the knees got worse. I had only walked one two kilometers, and then my knees got worse. So Sukhdevi ji, how did the idea of operation come about? How did you manage the money for it? How did all of this happen? I have got the treatment done with the Ayushman card. So you had got an Ayushman card. Yes. And there is free treatment for the poor with Ayushman card. Did you know this? There was a meeting in the school. From there, my husband came to know, and he got the card made in my name. Yes. Then I got the treatment done by card, and I did not spend any money. I have been treated by the card itself. It has been a great treatment. Good. If there was no card, how much cost did the doctor say earlier? Two and a half lakh rupees, three lakh rupees. For six to seven years, I have been on the cot. I used to say that, "Oh God, call me. I don't want to live." You were on the cot for six, seven years. Good God. Yes. Oh ho. Could not get up at all. So now your knee is better than before. I walk around a lot. I roam. I do kitchen work. I do housework. I cook for the children. So the card of Ayushman Bharat has really made you Ayushman, blessed with long life. Thank you very much. Because of your scheme, I got cured. I got back on my feet. So now even the children must be happy. Yes. The children used to face a lot of trouble. Now, if the mother is upset, naturally the child will also be upset. Look, our health is the biggest happiness in our lives. That everyone should get this cheerful life is the essence of Ayushman Bharat. Sukhdevi ji, I wish you all the very best. Radhe Radhe to you once again. Radhe Radhe, Namaste. My dear countrymen, in every country with a large youth population. Three aspects matter a lot. Sometimes it becomes the true identity of the youth. The first aspect is ideas and innovation. The second is the spirit of taking risks, and the third is the can-do spirit. That is the determination to accomplish any task, no matter how adverse the circumstances be. When these three things combine. Phenomenal results are produced. Miracles happen. These days, all we hear about from every corner is about startup, startup, startup. It is true, this is the era of startups, and it is also true that in the world of startups, India is leading in a way in the world today. Startups are getting record investment year after year. This sector is progressing very fast. The reach of startups has increased even in small towns of the country. These days, the word unicorn is in vogue. You all must have heard about it. Unicorn is a startup whose valuation is at least one billion dollars. That is more than about seven thousand crore rupees. Friends, till the year twenty fifteen. There used to be hardly nine or ten unicorns in the country. You'll be very happy to know that now India is flying high, even in the world of unicorns. According to a report, a big change has come this year. In just ten months, a unicorn is being raised in India every ten days. This is also a big thing because our youth have achieved this success 
in the midst of the corona pandemic today there are more than 70 unicorns in india that is there are more than 70 startups that have crossed the valuation of more than 1 billion friends due to the success of startups everyone has noticed them and the way they are getting support from investors from all over the country and abroad perhaps just a few years ago no one could have imagined this happening friends indian youth are also contributing to the solution of global problems through startups today we'll talk to a young mayur patil he along with his friends have tried to put forward a solution to the problem of pollution mayur ji namaste namaste sir ji mayur ji how are you just fine sir how are you i am very happy okay tell me you are in the startup world ji and doing the best out of the waste ji and for the environment too tell me a little about yourself tell us about your work and how did you get the idea behind this work sir i had a motorcycle when i was in college its mileage was extremely low and emissions were very high it was a two stroke motorcycle thus in order to reduce the emissions and increase its mileage by a bit i started trying sometime in 2011 12 i managed to increase the mileage by about 62 km per liter from there i got the inspiration to make something that can be mass produced so that it can be of benefit to many people so in 2017 18 we developed its technology and used it in 10 buses of the regional transport corporation we then checked the results and found that we managed to reduce emissions by 40% in these buses hmm now this technology which you have developed have you got its patent registered ha ji it has been patented this year it came to us through a patent grant and what is your plan to scale it further how are you doing that with the result of the buses being received many other pieces of information must have come out too what are you thinking of next sir under the aegis of startup india niti ayog has launched the atal new india challenge from there we got the grant and on the basis of that grant we just started our factory where we can manufacture air filters so how much grant did you get from the government of india 90 lakhs 90 lakhs ji and your work is done with it yes it has started now it is in the process how many of your friends are doing all of this together we are four people sir and all four used to study together earlier and from that you got an idea to move forward ji ji we were still in college and in college we thought about all of this and it was my idea that i should at least reduce the pollution of my motorcycle and increase the mileage okay so if we reduce pollution and increase mileage how much is the average money that can be saved sir we tested the mileage on the motorcycle and increased its mileage from 25 km per liter to 39 km per liter that is there was gain of about 14 km and 40% carbon emissions were reduced when we tested on the regional transport corporation buses there was an increase in fuel efficiency by 10% and the emissions reduced by 35 to 40% mayur i enjoy talking to you and do congratulate your friends on my behalf you found a solution to the problem that you had in college life and now the path chosen by all of you is providing solutions in solving environmental issues and you've taken up cudgels to address it and it is the power of the youth of our country that they take up any big challenge and look for avenues i wish you all the best thank you very much thank you sir thank you friends a few years back if someone used to say that he wants to do business or wants to start a new company then the elders of the family used to answer why don't you want to do a job have a job bhai there is security in the job there is salary the hassle is also less but if someone wants to start their own company today then all the people around him are very excited and also fully supportive friends this is the turning point of india's growth story 
where people are now not only dreaming of becoming job seekers but also becoming job creators this will further strengthen india's stature on the global stage my dear countrymen today in man ki baat we talked about the amrit mahotsav we discussed how our countrymen are fulfilling new resolutions in this amrit kal and also mentioned the stories related to the valor of our army in the month of december in the month of december another big day is ahead of us from which we take inspiration this day is the death anniversary of baba sahib ambedkar on the 6th of december baba sahib had devoted his entire life in rendering his duties for the country and society we the countrymen should never forget the basic spirit of our constitution that our constitution expects all of us to discharge our duties so let us also take a pledge that in the amrit mahotsav we'll try to fulfill our duties with full devotion this shall be our true tribute to baba sahib friends we are now entering the month of december it is natural that the next man ki baat of 2021 will be the last man ki baat of this year we'll start the journey again in 2022 and yes i keep expecting a lot of suggestions from you and will keep doing so how are you bidding farewell to this year what are you going to do in the new year please do tell and yes don't forget that corona has not gone yet it is the responsibility of all of us to take precautions many many thanks